these lemon and sultana scones are a recipe that we make in the restaurant and there's a couple of little tips for you in here when you're making the scones they're very simple they're really easy to make and they're a great recipe for getting your children into baking and cooking you can make them ahead you can cut them and you can freeze them and you can bake them from frozen i'm going to show you the very simple recipe i'm going to show you the recipe that we're going to make so 450 grams of self-raising flour that's what i have in the bowl we have one teaspoonful of baking powder. I'm gonna put in a pinch of some salt. So this is the salt here, the Simply Better salt. 50 grams of sugar, so that's the caster sugar, that's in the bowl there. And then we have some lovely sultanas. So sultanas are really, really nice in this. 120 grams, if you don't like sultanas, you can use dried cranberries or you can leave them out. It's totally up to you. Zest to one lemon and then 225 grams of this beautiful Simply Better Jersey milk. Irish Jersey milk, organic from West Cork. It's super. This is brilliant in coffee. Oh my God. And if you have it in rice pudding, it is so delicious. I'm going to put in uh, one of the Simply Better corn fed eggs into this. And that's really it. And butter, of course. Where would I be without the butter? So if we look, it's 110 grams of butter. So there's the recipe. And we'll post it for you there. So it's just very, very simple. 180. And it takes about 20 to 25 minutes in a fan oven. So let's get uh, going on this. We're going to grate in some of the lemon zest. So using my grater. So this grater is part of my cookware collection. And it's fantastic for parmesan cheese, for citrus fruits, all that kind of thing. For nutmeg, spices, that kind of thing. So I always tend to put it onto the bowl so it's kind of taking the pressure so you're not holding it like this. So you're putting pressure and you can just grate that. Now lemon is beautiful in a scone. Please try this or you can have these plain as you wish. Now what we're going to do, we're going to literally rub in our butter and the butter is at room temperature. So we're going to rub that in. So just using kind of like your fingertips here. So like this would have been one of the first things that I would have learnt when I was in... Um, in a home economics class, I was one of the first boys in my school in Manor Hamilton, St. Clair's Comprehensive, to do home economics. And I loved it. I just wanted to be a chef. I wanted to cook. I wasn't very good at the sewing now, to be honest with you, but I think home economics for me is such a great life skill. So if you look at the technique, you're just rubbing this in here. Now, bacon, I, I, I really admire, you know, people who bake, you know, like my granny, she lived until she was 92 and she used to weigh anything for soda bread. She just a handful of this, a, a cupful of this, you know, that's an amazing, um, I, I, I think, skill, to be honest with you. And this is just a very simple scone recipe. There are hundreds, if not thousands of scone recipes. And this is one just with the sultana, uh, sultanas and the lemon zest. It just gives it. So you just rub this in here nearly there just keep going down okay so just make sure the butter is at room temperature if it's too hard it's going to take uh, longer and what I would do is just literally if the butter comes straight from the fridge just pop it into the microwave for maybe five or ten seconds it just softens it up okay so that's that more or less done with the lemon zest in there we're gonna pop in them our salt so a good pinch of the salt so this is the Oriel sea salt and that's regular salted butter I should have said that okay some sugar so that's the caster sugar the sultanas so these are ones that i just got in done stores and they're just lovely nice plump sultanas nice flavor one egg so actually before i do that i'll mix all the dry ingredients so just watch using your hand one egg goes in there and then our milk which we have here so this is the milk here we're just going to mix this all together so mix it all together and then the easiest way is just get your hands in there. This really just makes life a little bit easier for yourself. And then I'll just take it all down. Give the hands a good wash. So just mix it all together. So you're combining the egg, the liquids. Now, using just your spatch to scrape that all down. Of course, make sure your hands are clean. Very important. And then just scrape all this down. We're going to put a little bit of flour. So don't overhandle it. Don't overwork it. That's really, really important. So in the restaurant, we have um, a lady, Marie McGlone, and she's been with us now for nearly 10 years or maybe more. And she's our breakfast chef and she's the most amazing baker. She does the most wonderful scones and brown bread and she's so consistent. She's just fantastic. And when you are someone that is really, really good at baking and so talented, I'll move that out of the way. But it's all about trying to be consistent. Now you can use a rolling pin if you want to. There's kind of no need to. I'll have to get the power the power hose to the hands we're just going to literally just press this 
okay so yeah i did tell you there was baking powder in that so this is a little tray of kind of like um uh, kind of cookie scones i just wash my hands and they're great for getting the shape of your scones so they are now you can cut them into triangles you can cut them into squares but if you look that's probably about about an inch and a half in depth so the thicker you actually um, roll them out or press them out the longer they're going to take to cook these should cook in about 20 25 minutes okay now so back onto these little kind of cookie cutters so i think this shape here they're great they're not expensive and they're really good for cookies and that and you just literally just press it down cut and that's your scone so each one should be the same size that's so important so just press this down now at this stage remember the little tip i said at the very start you can put these into a tupperware container or onto a tray usually a tupperware container and you can freeze them out uh, they can be baked from frozen so you can get ahead of yourself you can double this recipe if you want to and i'll tell you what happens is that they take a little bit longer to cook but they're excellent they really are you should get about 12 13 14 it really depends on the size of the cutter that you're using for this and then we're just going to literally egg wash them and then we're going to place them into the oven and that's it scones are so simple but so delicious and there's so many as i said different variations and i suppose recipes for scones it's like brown bread isn't it so we'll just get a couple more here and we're not going to waste this don't worry about that so just place this on my tray so this is my cookie tray and this is some parchment paper so this is the cookie tray here sorry i'll just show it to there Mella. so that's part of my cookware collection so if you're doing cookies or scones or any kind of bacon like that it's brilliant so it is i always put parchment paper which is non-stick paper and this is the way we get it in the restaurant or we use it in the cookery school like that okay so i'm going to press all this together i'm going to try not to overwork it we don't like to waste anything that's very important so make a little bit of room there and then we're just going to egg wash them so let's cut a few more here so we've one two three four five six seven eight nine ten probably get 12 from this recipe or 13 it really does depend on the size of the cutter you're using that's fantastic press that now you'll always have a little bit extra sure if you want to you can put that on it too so just wipe that out of the way and then what we're going to do now is literally egg wash it so egg wash is just one egg and a little bit of milk that's all that's in that just mix it together again i'm using that beautiful jersey milk trust me see this in coffee it's absolutely fantastic it is so delicious we're big fans in our house so a little bit of um egg here and milk that's all just brush the top of it and then what we do then is pop it into the oven 180 you can hear the fan oven behind me and these are going to take uh the ones that i've done behind i'm going to show you they took about 20 25 minutes until they're nice and golden brown you can sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top and that gives a lovely crunchiness but remember you have sugar already in the recipe so this is what you call just egg washing if you've ever seen or heard that in a recipe that's what we're doing one egg a little bit of milk now remember the tip about freezing them i wouldn't egg wash them and freeze them i'd, I'd have them frozen before you egg wash them into the oven and the oven is preheated at 180 and that's a fan oven so i'm just going to pop this in and when they come out the key to it is to let them cool put them onto a cooling rack and then all you do is literally just cut them open i'll just use a knife to show you the consistency of them might even need a knife so they're lovely and fluffy so they are you can see the lovely sultanas the smell of the lemon the lemon zest is really good you could put vanilla into that so what i have here is some beautiful simply better raspberry jam so this first of all the raspberries are from pat clark he's based in stamullen and these are made from wexford preserves they're wonderful people tom and laura send it they're fantastic and they make this beautiful jam using irish fruits butter of course i love but also what i love in a scone is some cream you can use a little bit of clotted cream which is a heavier cream i've just whipped up some cream and there we go serve them you could if you want to bake them and you could freeze them but i think they're better taken from the freezer from raw and then baked fresh nothing beats fresh scones they'll keep for probably a day or two but they're always nicer fresher and i find after a couple of days with scones is that if you cut them and you toast them in the toaster and then 
lots of lovely butter and some jam. Ah, they're beautiful. So enjoy this very, very simple recipe. That's my lemon and sultana scones. I'm serving it here with that Simply Better raspberry jam, that little bit of whipped cream, and of course, lots of lovely Irish butter. So happy baking, everyone, and enjoy this very simple and delicious recipe.